right. Um, <clears throat> good morning once again uh, to my grade 7 uh, science class, specifically the grade 7B. No? And uh, I'm doing this one uh, right now. Uh, at dawn, at exactly 3.34 a.m. in the morning. So, so, this is a way for me to, ano kasi, medyo off yung sleeping pattern ko ngayon. And I'm usually uh, up during the dawn. So, instead of passing, uh, letting the time pass, uh, dadaan natin ito sa something productive na lang. Alright, um, I'm always sending you the Ano, the the updates through Azra, Miss Labag, um, and telling you about uh, those tawag na to, uh, telling you about those mga mga updates. Now, the latest uh, the latest decision of Baguio City, no? If you if you are if you're following Facebook in Baguio City's uh, decision, no? Um, we are uh, hoping and praying that um. Uh, everything will be good in may no um we are extended uh with the enhanced community quarantine until april 30 by the president no, of the philippines however the the local government unit will follow suit about the decision of the national government however it was decided by uh mayor magalong no that even though if no it will come there will uh if uh April 30 comes, no, and the national government will uh, decide to lift the uh, enhanced community quarantine. No? Mayor Magalong mentioned that he uh, Baguio City will not encourage, or has decided that the students will not come back until May, right? So, kahit i uh, tanggalin na yung yung enhanced community quarantine sa April 30. Uh, by the month, sana dapat, di ba, May 1, balik na yung mga sudyante. Pero, uh, it has decided by the government uh, the government of Baguio City that they will not be risking the lives of the students to go back uh, until the end of the May. Now, in our case for La Trinidad, um, I think the our local government unit for La Trinidad has not yet uh, decided about it. I think they are still having a meeting with the, uh, with the different uh, educational uh, institution, no? para mas better na mapag-decide than if they will follow the same decision as Baguio City or they may uh, modify a different one no not following the decision of Baguio City but no if ever um La Trinidad will decide and follow the decision of uh uh Baguio City no so therefore until May no until may 30 no hindi kayo papasok now anong mangyayari doon no now as a teacher i am hoping na sana and praying na sana maging okay na lahat by may 1 that we are able to see each other siguro have a class maybe modify the class kung kailangan nating mag uh, PPE or your personal protective equipment, yung mga uh, face mask, yung mga pang-cover ng mukha, para lang mag-meet tayo face-to-face -face and teach you the lesson, mas better yun. However, if hindi given na chance na mer uh, magkikita tayo by that month, then we'll still continue with this at setup. Now, I understand the clamor of the students that hindi nyo feel yung uh, babasa lang kayo, tapos basa nyo, tapos uh, activity agad, uh, answering just questions or quizzes na wala naman kayong naintindihan. No? I get to see that some other students are online on their social media, but not online in their Kuiper accounts. No? Pero, mahirap po yung ganun. Ah, uh, I'm just encouraging you to, Juan, kasi ang setup natin, pag hindi tayo magmimit sa May, is that um, baka babalik na lang kayo by June in having the fourth quarter exam right away. 
No. So yun, balik tayo ng June having the fourth quarter exam agad pero hindi pa natin alam yung sitwasyon doon kung kumusta yung yung estado ng Pilipinas and even in our locality kung kumusta yung estado natin state natin kung okay na ba lahat pwede na bang mag-resume yung mga normal activities ng city ng municipality kaya um medyo malabo pa pero let's continue to pray no Let's continue to pray. Let's continue to stay at home and follow the government's uh, decision in trying to eradicate this, you know, this, this pandemic, the COVID-19. Now, yun na nga eh. Um, I know it's hard for you and it's also hard for us. But then, no, mahirap pag, for example, tanggalin natin yung fourth quarter nyo na pagbabasehan namin lang yung grades nyo is the first to third quarter eh, meron sa inyo na sinasabi ko pa noon, three quarters bagsak. Kung walang fourth quarter, ang hirap po nun. Kasi, we are hoping that on that fourth quarter, eh, makakabawi kayo at hihilain niya pataas yung grado nyo. Pero nga, nangyari nga ito na hindi natin inaasahan na yung fourth quarter natin, hindi tayo nagmimit. So, anong mangyayari? No? Anong gagawin? I'm encouraging you to please um encourage you to please uh tawag nito um magdiskarte po tayo um ano alam ko mahirap kasi kahit ako nahirapan akong gumawa ng ito nagpre-prepare I prepare for this live stream pero diskarte natin na mag-load Uh, maghanap ng signal kung nasa bundok man tayo, nasa probinsya man tayo. Um, tiisin nyo lang na uh, mag-study, self-study. Meron po ito, kaya ginagawa ko po ito para at least no meron akong harap-harapang interaction sa inyo na tinuro ko kahit hindi man tayo harap-harapan sa classroom pero at least parang tinuro ko pa rin sa inyo. Eh, yun po yung gusto ko. mag po tayo. No? Um, na Uh, maghanap ng paraan kasi yung mga accomplishments nyo sa Kuiper nyo is the only thing that we believe na pwede namin pag-generatean ng grado nyo for the fourth quarter if worst comes to worst hindi tayo mag-meet in the month of May and babalik na lang kayo on June and taking the exams alright, kaya nyo ba yung uh, for grade 7 I have sent already uh, this is the third topic already but uh We're still, we're still delayed, no? In terms of the timeline. But yun po yung gusto kong ipaabot, no? Na hanapan po natin ng paraan. Um, so far, I'd like to shout out these people, no? I think the last ones, um, it's just Miss Labag, uh, Mr. Aquino, and Miss Gonzalez who answered lately uh, the Kuiper activities, no? Puntahan natin yung, konyo, yung Kuiper activities nyo and... try po nating try ko po nun, try po nating bisitahin no and kanso wait lang ilo-load muna natin at tingnan natin now um i talked about mam nisel oh, uh, kasi kahit yung other sections of grade 7 uh, 7a 7c 7d 7e and 7f uh may think humahabol din sila but i'd like if I talked to Ma'am Nisel na pwede niyang gamitin itong video for her to be able to also use this one as a way of teaching, no? Uh, hindi man siya, pero ako. Pero okay lang yun. Um, you just go to my YouTube channel and 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 watch this and maybe Ma'am Nisel can make a quiz out of the activity that I have, uh, the discussion that I have done in this live stream. So, ito po lately, no? Um, this is for grade 8. Let's try to find the grade 7. All right, so for grade 7, we have your uses of sound. This is the first topic I think that I sent to you. And there were 10 out of 38 who answered. So ito yung na-shout out ko last time. However, let me just be, uh, balikan natin. Nahante, ano, um, yung sino yung mga ito. So, I'm hoping na itong mga ito, uh, copy muna tayo.
Alright, so tingnan natin itong kano. Um, uh, so si Miss Dangilan, si Miss Labag sa so, first at- at topic natin. We have Miss Resile, uh, happy birthday pala kahapon, no? Uh, Mr. Gawiden, Mr. Bastino, Miss Alamsis, Miss Aguilar, Mr. Aquino, Mr. Osias, and Miss Gonzalez. Ito po yung sampo sa first topic po natin. Alright? So, try natin puntahan yung second topic na tinadala ko. That would be your behavior of light. There were only five who answer the behavior of light. Alright. Now, the next topic we'll be having right now is, is kind of difficult, no? Pero, let's try to make it simple because later on, even if you're going to grade 8, you'll be encountering this one. No, Though, sa grade 8, in-depth na po yun. So, hoping that I'm still your grade 8 teacher, no? yun po yung kanatin. So, sa, sa behavior of light, meron po tayong si Miss Dangilan, uh, Miss Labag, uh, Mr. Aquino, Mr. Osias and Miss Gonzalez, the same people po. All right? And I think the last uh, pinaka latest topic that I sent to you was about the characteristics of light. Um let's try to find that one out. All right, so the characteristics of light, we have only 3 out of 38. Now be mindful, no? Sa Sinend kong mga activities that will be, uh, if you get to see here, no, it will be, uh, for example, meron na lang 20 days left because this will be, uh, tawag na to, this will be uh, ending on April 30. No? By after after April 30, hopefully po, hoping and praying na ma-uplift na po, ma-lift na po yung, yung, ano, yung ECQ or enhanced community quarantine na sana uh, uh, hinay-hinay, magbabalik tayo sa normal. So, let's go back to this one, no? And let's try to see kung sino nakapag-answer. We have Miss Labag, um, Mr. Aquino once again, and Miss Gonzalez. So, yan po, no? Uh, yan pa yung, yung, uh, so far yung mga taong nag-answer. So, Medyo kukunti po and I'm hoping na in the rest, pakisabi na lang po sa iba sa group chat nyo na meron po tayong ganito. No? So, sabi ko nga, yung fourth quarter, ito lang yung mga paggagalingan namin yung mga, mga grades nyo. And uh, yung mga sinasabi ko dati na three gradings na na hindi pa, three gradings na na medyo tumagilid. Ito yung time nila para humabol. Alright, so, ito po yung kanatin yung so i think uh, we're okay now on going back to the to the one no uh to the topic no and i think this topic that we have um we go now to the third about light which is your Tanggalin. Oh, wait lang ah. Have your PowerPoint presentation. Alright. So, andito po. So, ito po, no? Uh, talk about your dispersion of light. Wait lang, ayusin muna natin. Ano? Ayusin muna natin para medyo malaki po yung makita natin. Anyway, sige. Alright, so we have your dispersion of light. So, tanggalin ko na lang yung mukha ko para medyo ma-appreciate po natin ito, no? Our full screen natin para So, wala po yung full screen. Anyway. Anyway, uh let me make this one bigger. Yeah. Ma 
mali. Iba yung na-resize ko. Alright, so let's make this one bigger. Alright, so ito. Para ma-appreciate natin. Alright, so tinanggal ko na po yung quad ko, no? Yung cam ko. However, I'm still uh, talking at, at, at the background. So don't worry. Alright. So, ito po yung distortion of light. So, we're done with the aura. Tanggalin ko lang yung Ang init eh. Alright, so, we're done with uh, the first two topics of light. We have your uh, your behavior of light. Light has a behavior. Light has its characteristics. However, this dispersion of light is actually one of those behaviors of light. Uh, and this actually are what you call mga phenomena related to light. When you talk about phenomena, these are events or unique events that happen with light. No, and for us to be able to see, no, ang kwan ito, ang itong activity na uh, itong lesson na ito and your dispersion of light uh, this is just one of i think the three that will be talking however in your creeper activity it's just it just talks about two out of the three no so meron po tayong dispersion meron tayong refraction if uh, if you can still remember the word refraction was already mentioned in your sound no refraction and we have your reflection of light so tatlo po yun. pero sa tatlo na po yun, um, ang pinag ang uh, sin, uh, ang na-discuss lang po sa quiper activity nyo, uh, quiper lesson nyo was dispersion and uh, refraction. So uh, we'll be reserving the the reflection na lang in your grade 8 if you reach the grade 8. However, the reflection is just is just a behavior of light whenever it touches or light travels and bounces off a smooth of or smooth or a rough object. Let's say, for example, your mirror is so smooth that you get to see your reflection from the mirror. However, why is it that not everything is able, uh, not all things, no, na makikita nyo yung reflection nyo? Minsan malabo, minsan hindi talaga pwede. Maybe because of the surface. But anyway, let's go first with your dispersion of light. Now, in your dispersion of light, we talk about your uh, objectives. No, At the end of the lesson, you should be able to Explain why dispersion of light occurs and describe the formation of rainbow. Now, siguro, uh, this class will be really very lucky for you because this is one of my assignments before. No, How how do rainbows form uh, when you reach grade 8? But I think I'll be able to, to explain some little ones here uh, in your in this lesson that we'll be having. Anyway, so ito po yun, no? So, Punta tayo sa first lesson about dispersion. Ano bang meaning ng dispersion? Simply when you talk about dispersion, no? dispersion talks about yung pagkalat-kalat ng light. No? When lever light hits something or goes through something, kakalit, kakalat po yung light. So, simply when you talk about disperse or dispersion, um, light na kumakalat. Alright? So, kumakalat na light. And I get to see here that it, uh, this definition of dispersion, it refers to the spreading of light. Kumakalat po yung light into its color components. The different colors in visible light spectrum will form from white light. If you can still see, remember, yung, if you can still remember uh, in your, in your, a uh, lesson last time about the characteristics of light mahaba po yung electromagnetic spectrum so from the left no from the left uh, you have your uh you have your radio waves which is the less the le pinaka least energy followed by your microwaves followed by your infrared then there goes now in the middle you have your visible light when you talk about your dispersion of light no ito lang po yung portion doon na pag-uusapan natin ngayon because no the, going back again, we have your radio waves, you have your microwaves, your infrared, then your visible light, which is your Roy G. Beave. You have your ultraviolet, tapos meron po tayong x-ray, tapos yung gamma rays. So, yung gitna lang po yung pag-uusapan natin ngayon. No? But then again, when you talk about your visible light, this is the one visible na nakikita ng mata natin. The rest of the light in the electromagnetic spectrum, we cannot be able to see that one already in our uh, using our naked eye, no, hindi pwedeng makita na. So, we, you need extra gadget or different gadgets for you to be able to see them. No? So, punta tayo dito sa dispersion of light. Now, you get to see here, in this picture that you have, 
no? That dito po sa dispersion of light, no? Uh, makita natin yung picture ng Elzang, isang naka-triangle, no? Triangle na na picture dito, which is what you call your prism. So, it's spelled as their P R I S M prism. This is just a triangular glass ng mukhang Toblerone. Later on, I will let you uh, watch a, a video about this one. Kung paano nangyayari itong dispersion of light. It's just, no, that was mentioned in here in your second bullet. That, no, different colors in visible light spectrum will form from white light. Now, this is a white light here that is a streak of a singular streak of white light. Pass through. Dumaan po dito sa, sa uh, prism. But why is it that on the other end of the side, from white light, now there goes now the colors of your rainbow. Specifically, we have no Roy G. Beav. So, ano bang nangyari dito? Alright, so let's go now to the next one first before I get to let you watch the video. Now, no, it says here, dispersion of light. When natural white light enters triangular prism, the light emerging from the other side of the prism is separated into continuous color red to violet. Ito na po yung sinasabi natin, no? When you talk, ito na po yung sinasabi natin na when you talk about your 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 kano, your uh, your dispersion from white light pum dumaan sa prism tapos sa kabilang side ang dami ng kulay. So how is it possible that from a regular white light eh maraming kulay sa kabila? What can you conclude about this phenomena? So simply it, it it tells you here no that through science no it says here that your white light actually has is composed of the different colors of light inside it. Marami po siyang under na kulay. So yung white light general po yun. No? So, pag gumamit tayo ng prism, yung white light na yun, lalabas na yung mga individual colors na dyan. That's the reason why I can still remember my physics teacher by the name of Mr. Uh, Fajardo no? uh, in Basila National High School. Um, there was this question that he, he asked us before na hindi ko makalimutan. Anong mangyayari pag lahat ng kulay dito sa mundo, the white light, uh, the lights, the color of the lights, na imimix mo lahat, Anong kulay po yun? Now, some of you may think na yung mga kulay ng mga, yung kwan? Kulay ng, ng crayon, ng pintura, hindi po yun. No? Talk about your lights, different kind of light. So, specifically the light of your rainbow. Pag imimix mo yung lahat, ano bang kulay? Lalabas. So, simply, no? pag imimix mo lahat ng kulay ng rainbow, lalabas po white light. Kasi po yung white light pala, eh, may karga siya sa loob no no mga individual colors which is your Roy G Biv all right so ito po yung nangyayari diyan so for us to be able to understand this one more i'd like you to watch this video that i got from youtube and uh, in this case no um mapapanood po natin dito at nangyayari kung paano uh, ano yung experiment so this is bbc no uh, british broadcasting company wherein it shows us no in real in the real world of how uh, your your prism is working because then again ginawa ko ginawa po namin ito when when we had uh, during grade 8 pero ang hirap pong gawin ito is because we we only need a very thin streak of light for us to be able to see the rainbow on the other side of the prism now let's watch this video for us to be able to appreciate more no about this one so balik po tayo sa start Alright, uh, 
So, yun nga po, no? Uh, nakita natin here. Uh, we get to see here that um, in this video that we have, no? It only shows that your white light is actually, uh, it comes from, it comes from, uh, the, the original light is actually a white light that whenever it hits, no? Uh, the prism, individual colors of lights are coming out from the other side. No? And this was uh, being hypothesized by one of the greatest uh a scientist that we have by the name of Isaac Newton. Now, we will be encountering him more there sa pa natin, no? sa, sa lesson natin uh, when you reach grade 8 in the first quarter. Now, dito po sa kan, dito po natin makikita na we can say that, no? Um, tanong nyo sa akin, uh, Sir, saan ba tayo pwedeng kumuha ng white light? Is it that yung nakikita po natin sa sun, it's actually a yellow light and not a white light. All right. Mga merong mga ganung mga tanong, but actually no, if we're going to look on your 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 um what they call this one. Etong itong light po natin na nanggaling sa kwan sa ito pong light na nanggaling sa sa sun natin po ay white po. No. Sa aside from sun, saan ba tayo pwedeng kumuha ng white light? You can get that one from your regular uh yung mga fluorescent bulb no because this is actually also white light the one even from your your no your your flashlights are actually white light the the flashes that you have at the back of your phones are actually white light but for us to be able to kwan ito mas ma talagang the best no talagang the best pag uh, yung white light natin eh nanggaling sa kwan nanggaling sa sun so Ano ba? No? What, what else can we talk about this one? Now, when you talk about your dispersion of colors, no? yun yung pagkakalat-kalat or spreading of the light. Now, it goes back to your objective on how to explain what happens and how do rainbows form. When, in fact, no, nakakakita tayo ng rainbow and kailan tayo pwedeng makakita ng rainbow? Bakis, bakit may time na walang rainbow? Bakit may time na merong rainbow? Now, before we're going to the second one, no? because in your in your in your one, no? in your quipper lesson, uh, it it jumps right away to your refraction. Balikan natin yun mamaya. Puntahan natin ulit. Balikan natin po yung yung dispersion of light. So, so this dispersion of light actually it it is related to your refraction, no? But uh, it only shows here that in your dispersion of light, no? Dispersion of light it explains on how rainbows are actually being form All right. So paano ba na form ang rainbows? All right. So your diffraction and your refraction is actually related. Pero sige kasi it actually your dispersion is actually related to your refraction. So let's go first with the the process of what you call your refraction. So dispersion po yung pagkakalat-kalat ng light, no? So spreading out of the light from a white light to its individual colors which is your Roy GB now be be mindful of the different colors that you get to see here no and this and this picture ano may makikita nating kulay ano ba yung maposisyon na mga kulay sino yung nasa doon at sino yung nasa nandito naman sa may baba banda all right so let's go first with your refraction simply your refraction is the same with the one that we have discussed no it's with sound so when you talk about your sound no um if you can see, remember, refraction of sound is simply what you call your bending of sound. That is actually the same phenomena that explains that why is it that concerts are usually done during the night and not done during the day. I mean, lesser na ginagawa sila sa, ar sa, sa, sa araw. Usually, yung mga concerts natin gabi. Because there's such a phenomena called uh, the refraction of sound or simply the bending of sound. No, the refraction there is actually all almost the same principle what what is happening to light in light what is happening is that there is what you call also the bending of light and so it says here refers to the bending of light as it travels to two different materials now try to look at this picture here and we have a glass of water then we have a pencil here now paglagay mo nung pencil doon po sa, uh, sa, sa clear glass with water you get to see na Sir, bakit parang bakit parang putol yung yung pencil? All right? Uh, I still remember my father uh 
he, he demonstrated this one when I was young, no? And ganito, I was curious, bakit anong nangyari dito? Then, nangyari yun, uh, he actually demonstrated that one when I was elementary, but I got the answer only when I reached fourth year high school, which is actually your grade 10 right now. So, ano bang nangyayari dito? Now, be mindful that it's a bending of light, but it's just, no? Sabi dito, bending. So, emphasize natin. However, two different materials. So, looking at this picture that we have here, no? ano ba yung mga materials? Tanggalin natin yung mukha ko para hindi sa gabal. Alright, so, Jan. So, makita natin, no? You get to see here that ano ba yung mga medium na meron dito? No? Kasi two different material daw. So, two different material. Ano ba yung mga material na meron dito? No? For us to be able to see ano ba yung dinadaanan natin dito. So, it only shows us that this two different material here is actually your gas from your eyes going to the to the boundary of the glass, the, the glass here. You get to see that Anong medium doon? Anong 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 material doon? Gas, no? Hangin or air. However, ano ba yung beyond doon sa boundary ng glass o uh, glass nyo? It's actually now water. Now those are the two different media or the different materials that where light is now traveling. So from our eyes going from our eyes going to the going to the boundary of the glass, glass it's gas, it's air. However, on the other side of the glass, it's actually now water. So water at saka saka gas now i haven't mentioned this one in the last uh topic that you have there you have your um um your characteristic of light no so meron pa tayong mga different materials where light can travel and where does light travel fastest so no when you talk about your light travels fastest punta natin muna ko na so this uh, so I explain ko muna dito Alright, so when you talk about light travels fastest, your light, so si light, no? pasensya na mouse yung ginagamit ko, has its what you call your speed. No? Ang pinaka paspas niya na speed na pwede ng pag-travelan, let's try to see. Alright, so, pag-travelan 1, no? Number 1, pinaka-mabilis niyang pag-travelan is vacuum. Or simply your outer space. Doon siya pinaka-pass, ano? W, M, vacuum. Number 2, saan siya pwedeng next na mabilis? No? Sa gas. Tapos, number 3, liquid. And lastly, alam nyo na yung pang fourth, solid. Kasi hindi lahat ng solid nagpapadaan ng light. So, pag hindi niya mapadaan, meaning, pag hindi niya mapadaan, meaning, mabagal yung travel ng light po dyan. Alright, so, so, mabagal yung travel ng light po dyan. So, meron po tayo. So, we have your, so, so pinakamabilis na pag-travelan ng, uh, ng light is your vacuum. is actually traveling here at 300 3 po, ah, alright. Sorry. Alright, so 3.0 times 10 raised to the power of 8 meters per second. Tapos, medyo mabagal na sa gas, medyo mas mabagal na sa liquid, mas mabagal na sa solid. So, when I mentioned, uh, when I mentioned in your, uh, ano, uh, the topic about, uh, alright, so, let's go back to the topic about your, your, your press, your, ano, itong, itong refraction, no? So, ang medium po natin dito, we have your, your gas and your uh, liquid. So, gas medyo mabilis pero nung pumunta na siya yung light na nag-travel na siya at nag-pass through na siya sa liquid anong nangyari bumilis or bumagal All right so makikita natin dito from gas medyo mabilis pagpunta doon sa liquid uy medyo bumagal kaya yun po yung nangyari dito However before I get to continue with this one no let's try to see ano pang meron dito so simple no eto meron tong mga terms though I'm not going to talk about this 
terms anymore because this may uh, give you more uh, uh, will confuse you more so yun no so meron pong mga ito and yan so babalikan natin yung dispersion later on however i, I want to uh, share you a video of the refraction of light and explains the different phenomena that is ha happening no in the real world bakit have you tried if you can still remember uh, kun, uh, so mga, so mga kaibigan natin ng malapit sa sa mga estudyante natin na malapit sa 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 dagat and sa mga sa mga rivers no um, if na try yung pumunta at mag mag magpana no you have your crossbow and magpana ng mga fish no why is it that it's hard for you to target those fish maybe because you're doing a wrong technique maybe because you didn't uh, know uh, yet about this uh, uh, this phenomena of light called refraction so I hope that as as you learn about this one and you'll know the technique already about okay, so puntahan muna natin no and pan panoorin natin itong itong refraction of light na sinasabi dito so tanggalin muna natin itong mga shout out alright so refraction of light sabi dito so daming mga windows na naka-open po dito so kanakin sa sa video ko ah, sa computer ko kaya medyo bumabagal it only shows here so panoorin po natin sandali refraction of light have you observed the path of light when it enters from one medium to another in daily life does it move along straight line path or changes its direction let us observe some of our day-to-day -day experiences. For example, when a pencil, partly immersed in water, it appears to be broken at the interface of air and water. A clear pool of water always appears to be shallower than it actually is. A coin placed at the bottom of beaker containing water seems to be raised. When a thick glass slab is placed over some printed matter, the letters appear raised when viewed through the glass slab. Why does it happen? Let us understand the reason with this illustration. Let us consider a water tumbler and a pencil. When the pencil is partly immersed in water in a glass tumbler, it appears bent or broken to the observer. We know for a fact that the pencil is not bent at all. It just appears to be so. In this case, the light reaching observer from the portion of the pencil inside water seems to come from a different direction compared to the part above water. This makes the pencil appear to be displaced at the interface. Does the pencil appear to be displaced to the same extent if instead of water we use liquids like kerosene or turpentine? Will the letters appear to raise to the same height if we replace a glass slab with a transparent plastic slab. You will find that the extent of effect is different for different pair of media. These observations indicate that light does not travel in the same direction in all media. Definition When a light ray travels from one optical medium to another, it suffers a change of direction at the surface of separation of the two media. This is known as refraction. Activity. Suppose we were to place a coin in a glass of water. The light bouncing off the coin under water, for instance, would have to first travel through the water and then the air to reach an observer's eye. At the boundary it gets refracted and reaches the observer's eye, thus appearing to be slightly raised. Need a professional website? I created one for our startup using Wix. Let me show you how I did it. First, go to Wix. Alright, so you get to see here no, on what is happening in this. Uh, uh, what's happening here in your... Uh, so, ito po. 
sorry. All right, so you get to see here that in your refraction, uh, this is a bending of light. Now, uh, try natin po na explain ko better, no, with your, kwan, no? uh, better sa isang uh, illustration. Balikan natin po yung video na yun. Alright, um, if you are having hard time in trying to, uh, trying to, uh, understand this one, it's actually, kasi, it's really very hard for you to, kana, this is actually medyo complicado para sa grade 7 on trying to learn physics about, no, um, refraction. However, uh, punta tayo sa, kano, sa, sa refraction mo. So, punta, lagay natin ito. So, Punta tayo doon sa drawing na lang. Right, so, drawing tayo. So, mouse lang po yung ginagamit ko, kaya, no, saan nyo man? Nga ako. Alright, so, nangyayari dito, no, um, let's say for example, may sorry. Alright, so, punta tayo dito, no, this is, sabi natin, tubig ito. And this is the, the, the portion, uh, the, the, lupa ito. Tapos, uh, sabihin natin, andito ka. Na? Hmm. So, ang ginagawa mo, pumapana ka ng, kwan, na? So, so, may pana ka. Kasi, nag-hunting ka ng fish. Alright. So, ano, saan nyo yung uh, drawing? Alright. So, meron tayong nakitang fish dito. Yan. Alright. See, we get to see here no? that on the upper part here, no, ano po yung ano po yung medium natin? You have what you call your gas, no? However, at the bottom part, no, ang medium po natin dito ay liquid. Alright, so liquid. Lagay natin yan. Ayan. Wala. Huwag ka sanang mag... mag. Alright. So, eh. Daghang. Alright. Balikan natin mamaya. Alright. So, so liquid po, no? Makikita natin. So, balikan natin. Sorry. So, liquid, no? Makikita natin dyan liquid. Tanggalan natin yung kwan ko. Income. Alright. So, you get to see there, no? You have your liquid, no? Makikita natin dyan na from our eyes, no? From our eyes, posible na yung light na travel from our eyes into gas is actually in a straight line. Straight na straight. No? However, no umabot na sa boundary ng liquid, alam natin na mas mabagal mag-travel yung light sa liquid kesa sa gas. So, anong mangyayari dito? No? Alright, sorry. Anong mangyayari? Alright, ikulay natin to. So, nandito. Anong mangyayari dito? No? Anong mangyayari dito? No? From the boundary of the what of the liquid, no? Mas mabagal ang travel ng light, kaya medyo mag-bend yung light, and this is now what you call your refraction of light. Yung bending pa lang. No? However, if you're going to look at this one in the, in the real situation, kasi nga nasa taas ka ng, ng, ng gas and hindi ka nakasubmerge, no? makikita mo ang, ang, ang fake image na ito is still following the straight line from your from your eyes, no? straight line. Susundan niya ito. No? So, makikita natin dito. Eh. Alright, so, kikita natin dito ngayon that if we're going to look at this one, no, ang image na makikita natin sa fish, andito banda. Alright, lagyan natin ng, so, ito po yung fish. No? So, ito po yung fish, no? no? Ito po yung fish na nakikita natin above water and not at the original position of the fish. Kaya makikita natin dito, no, here, 
this is the fake or the optical illusion. So, fake position. However, wait lang po. Paano ba ito? Ito. So, fake po yung position na ito. However, ito po yung ang ito po is the original position of the fish kaya po sa makikita natin dito no whenever you get to tapan kasi alam na natin na meron pong refraction of light makikita natin na uy yung nakikita pala natin above water is not actually the original position of the fish and what we get to see is actually the fake position of the fish which is this violet here no yung violet na ito kaya pag target mo ng pana mo uy bakit mintis hindi mo natamaan as because no Maybe you don't understand yet the the idea of the refraction of light. Therefore, hindi mo hindi mo natatamaan yung original position ng fish. So right now, because you already learned that there is what you call your bending of light, which is your refraction. Anong gagawin mo to target if you are actually above the water to target the kan at matalagang matamaan mo at asintado mong matatamaan yung fish. Is that no? Atrasan mo ito ng konte. No? Atrasan mo ng konta yung target mo using your your, your, your pana, your, your your bow, no? Para matamaan mo yung original position because what you're looking above water is actually just a fake image of the fish, no? Hindi po yun yung tamang position ng fish, yung original position. So da kasi meron tayong sinasabing refraction of light. The same as the one mentioned there in your in your video about the coin, no? No? Man kasi kami ginawang physics na ganun dati, physics na na fair dati na tamaan mo yung coin sa baba ng isang isang drum, ano? So, ano nang nangyari doon, no? Meron yung isang drum ng tubig, tapos merong 5 peso sa gitna. So, from on the top, bibigyan ka ng coin ng tao, tapos ihulog mo yung coin, dapat matamaan mo yung coin sa baba. Pero paano mo ita-target yun is uh, it it has, has uh, a physics principle there that is related to what you call your refraction. So, so much about this one. Let's go back on how your fraction is actually related no, to your, um, tawag natin, your dispersion. Kasi nga sabi natin bending of light and originally going back to your, uh, ano, uh, going back to the, to the topic about bending of light, no? Yung white light po natin merong Roy GB doon. However, those different colors of the Roy GB actually, no? does not bend the same way the different colors are. So, anong nangyayari po dito? And this picture that you have, no? Tanggali ko yung mukha ko. And this picture that you have, alright? Whenever a white light goes here, no? This is what you call your incident light, your original light, no? So, what happens is that different colors bend at different rates, at different angles, no? So, uh, ang question lang naman dito, sino ba yung mas nagbe-bend? bend the most and bend the least simply if you're going to look at here no it's red that is bending the least it's because they are related to what you call your wavelength pag pag mahaba po yung wavelength because we get to see no uh, i-drawing ko na lang dito sa sa paint no all right so erase natin yung erase natin ito all right so ah uh, um, ito po yung kwan yung yung prism na ah, black na lang gamitin natin all right all right ito yung prism tapos mm, hindi naman natin pwedeng kulayan yung white light na white kasi white yung background all right so what happens here no papasok yung white light dito however no makikita natin on the other end si red yung nandito Tapos, si purple yung nandito or si violet. So, anong nangyayari dito, no? Different different colors, right? Different colors bend at different angles. Because it's, uh, ano? Paano, ano ba nangyayari dito? It's related to what you call your wavelength, no? Uh, si red, kasi nga, uh, longer wavelength siya. Mas longer yung wavelength niya, parang ganun, no? Mas longer, siya yung less na nabibend. However, when you talk about your purple or your violet, hindi purple po, sorry, violet po, na, it has a short, shorter wavelength, na, 
ang magkakalapit-lapit yung kwan, yung yung shorter wave, uh, sorry, shorter wave length siya ganito, no? And siya yung la uh, mas na bend the most. Kaya makikita natin. If you get to see in the, those ones there, no, ang ang gitnaan po is green because it is the the this the the one that is in the middle because yung wave length niya po is in between the length of your red and your kwan. So makikita natin dito, no, going back to your kwan. Different colors of light under your white light has different bending angles. Now, all right, let's go back. No, tanghilan natin yung yung paint. And ito na yung nakikita natin right now. No, so you have there. The only shows here that in the dispersion of light is reflected to refraction or the bending of light. So sa so bending of light natin po, ang question lang dito si red po yung less na na bend or least na na bend and Si purple po yung pinaka nabibend the most. Kita natin yung from the original this one. Ito, siya yung mas nabalik ko. And nakikita po natin dito, siya po yung least. Ano? So, andito po, no? tingnan natin dito. This one here, you get to see that. Do, no? Mas nabibend yung purple, uh, violet. Tapos si red naman is less bent. No? Kaya siya yung nandito. Kaya, this will now tell you, right? No? The ray corresponds to different colors bent by the prism varying amounts of angle. Uh, that one that I mentioned. Now, this one now tell you, no, about the creation of rainbows. Now, in your rainbows, no, before going there, it's actually the effect of the dispersion of, I hurry. Alright, sorry. The dispersion of light, no. Now, under their dispersion, nakasama na po dyan yung uh, sinasabi natin refraction. So, sa dispersion of light po, no makikita natin uy si red na sa taas tapos si 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 violet na sa baba actually if you're going to look at here in this picture also um double rainbow ito eh tapos pansinin nyo sa rainbow sir di ba rainbow po ito pero bakit lighter po yung kulay ng sky dito eh bakit darker yung sky sa kabila pansinin niyo next time if you get to see but before going there ano bang requirement kung paano nagpo-form yung rainbow all right so Puntahan muna natin yung kan natin no? so ano ba mga requirements ng nag pag, pagbuo ng rainbow right so punta natin yung paint no and all right so ano ba requirements ng rainbow for rainbows to form right for rain all ah, right sorry for rainbows to form right rain bow kailangan natin ng tatlong one we have your small size talagang small size ay sorry okay. alright so small small size na mga droplets po rain droplets rain droplets Tapos, number two, we have your light source, which is yung sun natin. Alright? Yan po yung, requ yung, yung, yung uh, requirement po natin, no? Ito. So, you get to see here, no? Sun at saka small size rain tablets. Kasi, no? If you're going to look at, why is it that sometimes, why is it that sometimes, wala pong, wala pong rainbow? Meron po, minsan po merong rainbow. Rainbows are only formed because there is a certain size of the rain droplets wherein light can be dispersed and you get to see the color. Just imagine this one, that the small size of your rain droplets are actually prisms, no small prisms that whenever white light passes there, no, passes there, it is disper dispersing the, the, the different individual colors on the other side. Kaya po, ah, uh, my size lang po siyang lumalabos doon hindi po uh, kwan kasi uh, why is it that I mean, whenever there is typhoon wala pong kwan wala pong wala pong rainbow why is it because yung mga raindrops po during a typhoon or heavy rain is actually very big malalaki po sila that light cannot be able to disperse the color there very well no ang nangyayari po doon kaya walang rainbow na nangyayari on that time kaya po makikita natin dito no here, no, it is now explains to you the different 
nangyayari. So, sa, dito po, sa, sa picture na ito, white light po na nanggaling sa sun. So, going back muna, no? Kailan ba natin, kailan ba natin makikita yung, 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 yung rainbow? So, let's say, for example, right, so, tatalikod ako. May prumpong rainbow dyan. Dyan po yung rainbow. So, expect where does the sun come from? Nangyari po, nandito po sa likod natin yung sun. Alright? hindi po nasa harap natin, nasa likod po. Nandoon yung white light source, tapos meron po yung mga tiny prisms, yung small raindrops there. It's actually diffu- uh, dispersing and refracting your light, but in your eyes, makita na natin yung formation ng rainbows. And you get to see here that tama po yung nangyayari doon during the dispersion. That, no, because red is less bent, nasa taas po siya. And because your purple is the most bent, nasa baba po siya dito sa picture natin. Now, let's go to the to the last uh, one. So, rainbow spectral colors can be observed because each color comes from different raindrops at different angles of elevation. Kaya makita mo natin ang daming raindrops dyan. But ito po yung nakikita natin, no? Because of the different angles of elevation, no? Yung ha- upper na, na, na raindrop po, nung umaabot sa mata natin, it's the red color. Kaya nakikita natin na red po yung kulay sa taas ng rainbow. And the one at the, the lower portion ng mga raindrops, actually, that whenever it reaches our eye at a 40 degree angle, no? Makikita natin yung blue. Makikita natin at 40 degree ang 42 degree angle, no yung red po yung nagreach sa IS natin kaya si um, kaya po si si red uh, si red po yung nakikita natin sa taas ng rainbow tapos si purple po yung nasa baba no so hindi po pwedeng magkabaliktad diyan unless lang po na merong double rainbow there are times that there is a rainbow at the bottom and a rainbow on the top makita natin is a totally op- total opposite uh, opposite position po yung 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 rain ang kulay ng rainbow sa taas compared to the, sa baba. Pag sa baba, si Roy, red, orange, yellow, uh, uh green, blue and violet po yung 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 ano, yung sequence ng kulay. Pero sa kabila po baliktad. Si violet na po yung nasa taas and si red na po yung nasa baba, no? Kasi parang nangyari doon, parang naging mirror image. So I hope that you get to understand this uh what you call your different ano, different uh, uh, phenomena that's related to your light. Uh, simply this, uh, what, you, what you call your dispersion of light. Let's go now to your key points. And try natin na, ano ba? So, it says here that different colors in visible light will form from white light. Originally white light po. And po, uh, ve- the best source that we get uh, we get white light from is actually the, w- the light from the sun. Now, spreading of light into different color components from white light at individual colors yung lumalabas, yung Roy G. Bibbo natin, ang tawag natin po dyan, dispersion of light. Now, whenever, because sabi ko nga, in the dispersion, magkakaiba-iba po yung angle ng bending ng light toon. That is what you call, whenever it talks about bending of light, that is what you call your refraction of light. Now, refraction also happens the same one with what you have last time, no? Sa, for example, paano ka mag-target ng fish underwater, no? It's because there are two different media, or medium, or material. We have your gas, tapos tubig na sa baba. Siyempre, yung gas, mabilis yung travel ng light na nakikita natin, but whenever it reaches the boundary of your your water, babagal na po. Kaya meron pong bending. No? Hindi po siya straight na nagta-travel. Bending po yun. Uh, okay. The greater wavelength for a given color, the less bending occurs. Kaya sinabi ko nung, nung dinowing ko doon sa paint, eto no, so less bending. So makikita natin, greater wavelength po si red. Kaya less po nagbend si red. The bending of light is measured in index of refraction that the medium passes through. I will not be talking about, uh, I did not discuss this one thoroughly, so uh, I'll just, just skip, skip this one. But if you have the chance to, to daanan po nyo, na, nyo yung, ano, yung, yung Kuiper study guide nyo, and doon po yung explanation. And the refracted ray that leaves the prism will be diverged from original direction instead the prism referred to as the angle of deviation. So, how much angle from the original angle, how much deviation, so, gaano ka different yung bending from the original bending? Uh, is it, no? So, ito po yung tawag natin angle of deviation. So, let's try to answer and check our understanding about this one. So, it says here, your number one. Tanggalin po natin yung mukha ko. At saka yung shout out. Alright, so, tawag natin ito. The blank occurs when natural white light scatters different colors. So, the keyword here would be the word scatter. So, ano ba ang scatter? So, 
I hope that you already know that the answer here for nerds, bucket number one ito lahat. Anyway, uh, keyword dito, letter D po yung start niya. Next po dito, a blank is formed to refraction of light, a uh, refraction of sunlight in water droplets. So, water droplets are actually tiny prisms wherein dispersion of light happens there. So, ano pong nagpo-form doon? So, keyword dito po, letter R. No? Red has the shortest, uh, the, has the longest wavelength, while blank has the shortest wavelength. So, ano bang kabilang side ni, pan, ni red? Ano bang kulay ang kabilang side ni red? No? So, ayun po. So, ito. So, alam nyo na yung anong kulay. Uh, dito po, obvious, no? Starts with letter V. As in, victory. So, try nyo answerin ito. And lastly, let's get to have to challenge ourselves. The dispersion of visible light resulted to the separation of different colors. What do you think the arrangement of color are... What? Why do you think the arrangement of colors are fixed from red to violet and vice versa? So, you can actually Google the answers for this one. I might consider application for this one in some of the uh, questions or uh, in the quiz, no? Na makikita nyo. Sa later on, pag gagawin, gagawin ko na yung, yung assessment for this one. So, recap po tayo, no? So, dispersion of light po ito. Ito po yung dinasinasabi nating dispersion, spreading of light. Tapos, meron po tayong tinatawag na refraction. If you can remember, ito po nangyayari. If you'd like to try this one at home, then why not, no? Pwede po. So, yun. Pwede pong gawin nyo ito. So, I think that would be all, no? So, uh, my dear students, uh, I'd like just to emphasize na when, no? Eh, ibagak ito iti ilokano. O nagpaiso nga, medyo makapasadot nga ag-adal. Uh, especially no, di ipabasa lang ti lesson, tapos ansiran nyo lang, tatawan mat lang, tinawatan nyo. Um, isugarod nga ar-aramidok da ito eh. Tap no nga, mas maawatan nyo. Uh, Uray ni siya, kat, uh, marigrigatak mat lang ti panag-aramid, kat panag-prepare ti kastoy. No? pa nagpre-prepare ti kastoy kat ti ti dawat ko lang kanya yun kat kakumano ah yay discard ko mga palpasin nyo da ito eh ah, kaya't kung at tulungan da kayo awan mo ti nakin kaya't nga nangyari da ito nga nga problema iti lubong tayo nga ada ti kastoy nga napasamak nya nga ah nga po da ito ti ayat ni maisa nga teacher nga madikda kayo nga nga ibabati no madikda kayo nga mabati ti the same grade level you got sapay kuma ma appreciate you daytoy ar arami doc no oray narigat oray narigat matlang kinyayo nga salamat sala salamat lata ti dadumang nga nagresponde um na appreciate ko dakol daytoy ti dadumang nga uh, agdis discarding pay lang salamat matlang no ta adat uh, initiative initiative yung ag uh, kuno ag ag aramid um, ag tinulong tayo anya tap no eh no umay jay panawen nga agresyo man amin kat awan ti panagbabawi tayo taamo tayo nga inaramid tayo ti part tayo so once again i'd like to just uh, thank everyone no uh, if you'll be watching this one later on i want to thank everyone for 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 having the time to watch this one and uh, this is a way for me to to help you with your lesson despite of this uh, uh, what is happening to the world so let's continue to pray that hopefully um, will be ending uh, sa akin naman I, I, in the next few days I'm getting to be I'm going to be a year older and I get to pray to the Lord that yun na po yung hingi ko as a birthday gift to myself no na sana maging okay na po lahat uh, not only in the Philippines but the whole world about this COVID-19 uh, pandemic so yun po uh, I hope that ma appreciate nyo ito I hope that gawa natin ang paraan ito I hope na magtinulungan tayo so once again um, it's already 4.41 in my watch ng, ng, ano, ng dawn ng umaga so magjajaging pa po ata ako before kan kasi medyo tambay na dito sa bahay wala hindi na gumagala so salamat ulit um Thank you very much and God bless you. Ingat po kayo.